Hi everyone, this is Josh Nankel with pmstudent.com. Um, today I'm going to do a video blog on um, a tool that can, you can use in project management, which is an online survey tool. Um, this is something that you can use in project management or other, other team environments where you're trying to get feedback uh, from the team on what's going on. You can either collect specific questions or specific answers to questions or just uh, make it something that where, where they can give uh, open feedback. So I, I just wanted to walk you through this. Um, I don't work for PollDaddy.com or anything. Um, SurveyMonkey.com is another one that I know of, a uh, website that you can set up free surveys with. Um, I really like PollDaddy.com here. So I'm just going to show you um, the process here. Um, if you go to the sign up page, most of these do have a free option. Um, you can see that uh, 10 questions per survey is a limit and 100 survey responses per month. And for the most part, that's going to be just fine for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, sign up. And let's just do uh, test man last name. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a email address here. Alright, and I just uh, logged in here to PollDaddy.com. Um, if you go ahead and look at the uh, section on the right here, we've got uh, Create a New Poll, and you can also do a survey as well. A poll is something that is more like uh, strictly multiple choice, and that's really the only options that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and create a survey. And let's just call this survey name. Um, Project status for September. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the survey title. Scroll down here. I'm going to use a custom start message that says, Thank you for completing this survey and your project manager know what's going on. All right, custom finish message. That's fine. Um, with Poll Daddy, you can change the style of your poll. I'll go ahead and just choose one here, and you save and continue. All right. And here in the survey editor, we've got all sorts of options. You can um, add a page header. You just click and drag it over there and say uh, September project questions. And let's just say that you do something. I did write a post one time on, um, on um, using a survey like this to collect information about the project. and doing this on a monthly basis in order to get uh, um, the project manager uh, can ask you know specific questions and the, sur the survey respondents can uh, answer anonymously and not worry about uh, somebody knowing that it was them that, that answered the question this way or that way. Okay. So let's say I'm going to do paragraph. We'll do a text paragraph. And just click in here, enter your question. What's the biggest problem you faced in September on this project? Went off the screen a little bit there. Let me go ahead and move this over a little bit. Okay, and put a question mark on there. And this is a paragraph, so they'll go ahead and be able to put in wherever they want. You can change the size make it large, just in case we have someone who wants to talk quite a bit. Okay, um, we could say multiple choice. Let's go ahead and drag that one in there. Let's say something happened on the project. 
which way of doing XXX, whatever it was, did you like best? Let's say we tried three different ways of doing something. So option one, option two, option three, whatever those are. Um, you can make these questions mandatory um, so that they have to answer them. You can let them add a note to it as well, which I like to do if there's a multiple choice question of some sort. Um, you can have uh, a radio button where if they choose one, they can only choose one. Um, you can make a list, you can do check boxes so they can choose many of them. All sorts of different options here. And then the other gives them an option to say, well, none of these options are what I like best. What I would like to do is this. Okay. Um, actually, and if I go back to the note, the note actually gives you just this little information here. If you uncheck it, you see that disappeared. Okay, so we could say, tell us, or whatever type of information you want. Okay, and then the last for the last question, what I always like to do is general feedback. So, give us any feedback you wish. Tell us what's on your mind. All right, there we go. Better make that a 4,000 character one. Okay, so let's say we're finished here. We're going to go ahead and save and continue up on the top here. All right, and now it'll give you this direct link method. So what you can do is copy this link put that in an email, send it out to your team, say, hey team, I've set up an anonymous survey with some questions I'd like you to answer. Go ahead and go to the website when you get a second. It's only three questions. It should only take you 30 seconds to a couple minutes. Um, go ahead and let me know what you think. It's completely anonymous. You don't have to worry about uh, uh, me knowing who it was that said something or other. Uh, but it's a good way to get feedback and uh, not have to worry about people being shy or or anything like that. Sometimes in a face-to-face -face discussion, um, in a group setting, um, even in a one-on-one -on -one setting, people will tend to um, just kind of tell you what you want to hear. Um, if you do something like this, they're much more likely, I found, to come out and tell you what they really think. Thank you for visiting pmstudent.com. I hope you like this. This is the first uh, video post that we did. And hopefully we'll have more like this in the future. If you like it, leave a comment and let us know.